Good morning, folks. This is Mr. Curtis, and today we're going to be taking a look at line 100. Uh, just as a preface, there will be a playing test on this line this upcoming Friday. So if you're looking at this on Monday, make sure you're like, doing your due preparation throughout the week. If you're looking on this again at Friday, good luck. I hope you worked. Now, looking at this line, everything here is on the G string. Okay, so look ahead, measure five, right, in the second half of this. Uh, shoulder holders, you guys have fourth finger A's, okay? Cello's bass is gonna operate a little bit differently for you. Follow the fingerings that are listed in the book. It'll really, really, really help. Um, otherwise, for shoulder holders, this elbow, this left elbow should be in the entire time when you're set to get to that lower set G string, particularly on the fourth finger D's, you measure five and measure seven. In the second line fourth finger d's all over the place you also have a couple places where there are skips like the first measure of the open g to second finger b or like third finger if you're a cello so open two open two one make sure on the tape you're pressing nice and hard this elbow's in when you go from a to c natural because we are in the key of g c's are natural uh, first finger a to third finger on the tape c natural shoulder holders, that's gonna be fourth finger for cello, second finger for bass, so on and so forth. So really pay attention to the fingerings, watch out for skips, give them a little bit of extra practice. I recommend pizzicatoing this a couple times before it makes your feels really secure. Shadow bow along with me, and then arco along with me in this video. Feel free to rewind as many times as you need. I have my measurement set to 60. <laughs> Got the sniffles today. There we go, there we go. Sit on my G string, my elbow is in, my right elbow is up because I'm playing violin, so I'm way over on the slow string. Here we go. One, two, ready, and go. So yeah, fourth finger's all over the place, and if you notice, I overcorrected a little bit second to last measure for that fourth finger D. I kicked my elbow and went a little bit too far. I'd rather hear that than hear you be flat because you didn't move your elbow at all. So make sure you're kicking that elbow in, fourth finger, press hard on the tape. Good luck. <laughs> 